accurate or no? 618. And this shot. And this is your father's watch. Yeah. Are you nervous to have this premiere tonight? A little nervous, but the best moment of this process when you sit down and you listen to your music, mm -hmm. you can enjoy from the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. So I will not say I'm nervous, but for sure I am very excited. Uh, break a leg, you say? <laughs> In bocca al lupo. My name is Stefano Albertini, I'm the director of Casa Italiana Zarilli Marimò at New York University. I've been doing this job for about 30 years. In these 30 years, Casa Italiana never produced an opera, and we wanted to do this. So for this semester, that for us it's also very important because it represents the rebirth after the closure for COVID, we decided to produce Roberto Scarcella Perino's opera, Furiosos. Furiosus was a commission by the Opera Theatre of Philadelphia because of the celebration of 500 years of the publication of Orlando Furiosus. The opera was performed in Città della Pieve, that is a beautiful city in Umbria. So we produced the opera with all international singers and also orchestra players. And also Stefano Albertini came and he loved the opera. From the moment I saw it, I wanted to bring this opera to New York and to give a chance to New Yorkers to see this new work by Roberto. There are so many things you have to keep in mind when you prepare an opera, because you have the chorus, you have the soloist artist, you have the musicians, you have a conductor, and we are doing only a version without costumes and sets. My name is Sierra Bird, and in this production of Furiosus, I'm singing Maduro and Alcina. Rehearsal's been great. Uh, it's been joyful. Everyone is coming with their A-game, super prepared, and also just encouraging. One, two. Going into this project, I've never met Bob Wheaton, but I've always heard about Bob Wheaton because he's the conductor at Santa Fe Opera. He greets every person. He gets to know their working style immediately, which is helpful. He's not expecting you to talk a certain way or to be a certain way, so that's really enjoyable for me. They're a wonderful group of young singers. They're mostly from the Lindemann program, so they've been you know, impeccably prepared you know, all fit their roles perfectly. So it's a really, a, really a joy. When you're doing a work by a living composer, there's a bit of you that's sort of scared. It's like, oh, I've got to do exactly what's on the page. But I hopefully inspire them to figure out what the effect is that the composer wants and to give ourselves license to not be thinking, okay, this is 80, so it has to be exactly like that. Mostly I want them to feel they're bringing the character and the story to life. The opera Furiosus is based on the epic poem Orlando Furioso by the Italian poet Ludovico Ariosto. Orlando is considered in the tradition of chivalric literature the wisest among the paladins of Charlemagne and what happens with the Orlando Furioso is that Orlando goes mad and this is the comic trick which Ariosto is inventing so as to create a new story. The poem includes one important episode when the knight Astolfo goes to the moon to rescue the wit of Orlando. And in Furiosus, the librettist Flora Gagliardi decided to make this particular episode the heart, the core of the operatic adaptation. Marisanare Orlando, io sono 
I am Omar Najmi, and I am singing the role of Astolfo. Roberto writes beautifully for the voice. I sing a lot of contemporary and new music. It's a huge part of what I do, and he sets it up so it's easy. It feels effortless. This piece is kind of unique. It's a really great combination of old and new. You have this saxophone quartet, which you never get in opera. But then a lot of the musical aspects also harken back to much older opera. <laughs> My name is Sipakaz Multina. I will be singing the role of Bradamante. Bradamante is a young warrior. She is so strong. She is so passionate. Women have always been like so strong, but lived under the shadow of men, I would say. But things are changing now, and you got to see that a lot in this story. <laughs> Someone might wonder why a rather small institution like ours has invested so much energy and resources to bring to an American stage a new Italian opera. First of all, we recognize opera as the most quintessentially Italian art form, and yet as the most international cultural product to ever come from Italy. We also want to send a clear message that Italian opera is not a dead art form. And commissioning, sponsoring, and producing new operas, like we are doing tonight, is the only way to keep this extraordinary legacy alive. I could feel a lot of emotion around me, and I was moved. I mean, it's my music, I know every single word, I mean, any single measure, but I was able to just forget it was my music. I really loved uh, to see the story of Furiosos and enjoy every single moment. One of the reasons why this piece of literature keeps appealing to people, to my mind, um, has really to do with the fact that everything is in there. Orlando Furioso is about love, is about war, is about the ways in which people coming from different backgrounds fight, but also the ways in which they may find a common ground. Usually when you see an opera, of course, you have lights, you have costumes, you have action. And this is the moment where just the music was performed. So I could listen to myself and I could feel that the performers were enjoying the singing and the music. You know, it makes me really proud. One of Roberto's characteristics as a composer is his ability to combine different traditions, putting them together in a way that seems seamless and without any fracture. So you hear Arabic melodies, and then you hear some Sicilian popular tunes. And the great thing is this is beautiful music. When I go see a contemporary opera very often, I walk out that I wouldn't be able to remember one single piece. To me, an opera is successful when I walk out of the hall and I'm humming a piece of music that stays with me and keep me company after. And with Roberto, that's the case. I will walk out of the theater humming one of the tunes, one of the arias that he composed.